Right, so you've probably already seen the film in the TV show, but in case you haven't, uh, I'll give you a little reminder. Um, the idea is this thing is Top Gear's solution to a problem that's plaguing Britain's roads, namely slow tractors holding us all up. So they've come up with this quite extraordinary thing. It's called the Track Tour. See what they've done there. Um, and it's such a special piece of engineering that I wanted to give you a tour while it's sitting here in the studio waiting for all the presenters to come in. First thing to mention, it's Lamborghini Orange, obviously. These lights are taken from an aerial nomad because it's a racing tractor. A little bit of fun, why not? The whole basis for this car is the Chevrolet Blazer SUV. It's, a, it's an American car, you might not have heard of it. Uh, the engine too is a Chevy, a 5.7 litre V8, producing 500 horsepower. <laughs> Behold, the tractor. Oh, these two, cherry bomb exhaust, classic boy racer specials, twin stacks, of course. In the middle here, you can't see it, is a transfer box taken from a Land Rover, 1.6 transfer box. The idea is, because these rear tyres are so massive, if you ran the standard ratios on the three-speed auto, well, it would be doing about 186 mile an hour top speed and not going anywhere fast. So it's about shortening the ratios, getting the acceleration better, and getting this thing off the line. I mentioned the wheels. Yeah, they're quite significant, aren't they? The axle is too, an eight lug axle down here. That's a military spec axle. And you need that to hold the whole thing together. The centrifugal forces when these things are moving around is absolutely insane. The tires, by the way, super swampers. They're imported from the US. You can't buy them in the UK because they use too much oil in their production. Very American. I like that. Come around the back. Now, you'll notice a large hole here, yeah. In the film, there's actually a second engine, a 1.6 Peugeot diesel engine in there, and that drives the hedge cutter and the plough and all the other bits and bobs they stick on the back to make this thing actually useful. And up there, well, that's a, a wing taken from stock car F1. Apparently, it has proper downforce. Well, at least with that, given the downforce, that adding weight over the rear axle, this thing was pulling wheelies in a straight line. Let's have a look inside, because there's more gadgets and gizmos. Right, these two levers over here, with blue balls on the top, they're called the slewer brake. So you've got one for the left wheel, one for the right wheel. Pull one at a time, it's effectively like a handbrake. So you can pull a handbrake turn, turn on the sixpence, spin up those rear tires, and fire off down the straight. Essential kit in farm work. A few optional extras in the back as well, a couple of pairs of wellies, spades, and look, you can even take your other half for a leisurely drive in the countryside. It's a well thought through thing, this. That's all the main bits. There's only one thing left to do, and that's to fire it up and have a listen.